Who is a Christian? A Christian is someone who walks and lives in the light of Christ. A Christian is someone who walks and lives in the light of Christ. You need to walk, you need to live as Christ. If you are a Christian, because it's Christ like, the full meaning of Christian is Christ like like when you say you are christ like it means you walk in christ and you live in christ that is why paul was bold enough to say to the galatian i walk by him and i live in him and he is my hope and my place of safety that shall be someone's language from today you shall live and walk like christ you shall live and walk like christ in the name of jesus christ who is a Christian, a Christian is who your mind is renewed in the gospel of Jesus Christ. A Christian is someone with a renewed mind, a renewed mentality, a person who does not live in the scripture but live by the word of the scripture. There is a difference of about you reading a Bible and there is a difference with you understanding the Bible. Having a Bible does not make you a Christian. Reading it does not make you a Christian. What makes you a Christian? Do you understand the gospel in the Bible? When your mind is renewed, when your mind is transformed from the power of the gospel, that's when you can say, I'm a Christian. When you begin to see the nature of Christ living inside of you, the lady gave a testimony and said, I can perceive, I know that even me I am growing in the Lord the gospel of Jesus Christ have found me and began to turn things around inside of me there is a shift of understanding that I cannot look a fellow Christian and tell her look I have found Jesus the one who is the one who was and the one who is to come the one who answered by fire and by power I have found Jesus the God of prophetess Justina that does not delay but manifest himself I have found Jesus the author the finisher of our faith when your words you begin to brag with Jesus you begin to touch someone I owe you no apology because I have Jesus I don't care what you have to say my Jesus my Jesus ah my goodness you know I began to talk about this and the Lord told me when he was in his ministry the disciple was with him with congregations who read the Bible but they did not understand the scripture so they were in his ministry they were in the ministry of Jesus Christ and Jesus said to them I am the blood and I'm the body if anyone must be with me he will drink of my blood he will eat my flesh and they said ah, when we read in the Bible we did not see blood when we read in the Bible we did not see bread because they have no understanding surely they did read understand this predicament of this follower they were fervent follower of Jesus Christ they were going everywhere with him they were sponsoring their own movement they were dedicated and devoted but they read the Bible with their head not with the Spirit of God so they have knowledge but they don't have understanding child of God you can be limited if your knowledge cannot be interpreted so they began to follow Jesus and Jesus look in his congregation and say I have people but these people I have do they really know me can they understand me are they with me and he said to them you will drink of my blood and eat of my flesh if any of you have a problem with this statement you are free to go people began to walk out of the church people began to walk out of the congregation people began to go because they have eyes but they could not see the gospel they have ear they could not hear they followed him everywhere but 
what they were never with him. They did not understand that he is the bread of life. They did not understand that he is salvation. They did not understand he is the coming king and the supreme master. They lack understanding in their following. And God said to the disciples, excuse me, why are you still here? Others have gone. I expect you to, to go with them because in this kingdom there is no eternity. You will only eat the bread and drink the wine. If you are not going to go, why? And the people who have understood, who are Christian with him, who have understood him clearly and loudly, they say to him, Master, where shall we go? We have nowhere else to go. We are dead in your gospel. You are our Lord and our Savior. In you we are living, in you we are dead. We choose to go with you and we choose to remain with you. Whether we have not understood, we will understand as we continue. They were so sure in their conviction that they remain with God. Today, you have been asked a question. Is your mind renewed? gospel of Jesus Christ. Because if your mind is renewed, you will not say that speaking in the Holy Ghost is a sin. If your mind is renewed, because the last time we checked, the power of Jesus came down like a cold of fire upon the disciples and they began to speak in unknown tongues. Yet we have churches that gather themselves together with knowledge but no understanding and say the speaking of the Holy Ghost is not part of the Christianity and the purpose of the Holy Spirit was what Jesus provided by his gospel. He said to the disciple, go ye nowhere until you receive the spirit from on high. The one who will guide you into all fruit. The one who will help you to gain understanding and mastery of the kingdom of God. Children of God, you might read your Bible, but you need the God of the Bible. That's why Jesus said to the woman in the Samaritan well, he said, yes, woman, I know you have been reading the Bible, but today I want to give you an announcement. Time will come. You won't need to go to look for God or a mountain because the mountain will be with you and you shall call on God in truth and in spirit and you shall receive it. I don't know who I am talking to today. You shall call him and he shall appear in your life, in your family, in your finance, in your marriage. You shall call him and he shall answer you. If your amen is louder, your enemy will go down. In your mind and be it transformed, be you renewed in your mind and be it transformed by the word of God. When you are renewed and transformed by His word, you are a Christian.